mythology, folk tales, folklore from all different cultures. There's always these old tales that were meant to sort of guide people and teach them basically cardinal rules of human existence or life lessons and things like that. And then the way that those stories are retold and continue to play out, you know. So that, for me, those are always kind of constants that I go to. And those are like the stories that I used to love as a child. So it's like to constantly try to find them and find new ones or retell them and sort of share that experience, you know, to try to get somebody to feel that same elation. It's almost, and it's kind of a nerd bond thing. I don't know. When I think about the stories of, of different gods or heroes or villains or this or that, I feel like there's always this kind of duality in line of context in which way they're perceived. It's always how the story's told because pretty much every single character in every single story could be either or. So there's, it depends on how you tell the myth as to who's going to be the bad guy or who's going to be the good guy. Like there's, you could tell any story and make the bad guy the good guy if you say it right, if you word it right, if you play with it enough. And I think there's a lot of fun in manipulating that or using that to kind of show, to kind of expose them, the truths that are there and also the myths and lies that are there. So. The huge gap between Bryce or Daniel is I was using the idea of mythology of art or the artist and then using that as a jumping off point and moving forward. Um, referencing a lot of Baroque or uh, neoclassical works and um, historical, um, in historical paintings and then uh, evolving that into a more eternal kind of context, you know, and making it, uh, and making it black and uh, silver now, these newer works. Uh, um, the idea of mythology was just kind of a point of reference and then finding a way to modernize it in some way, you know. Um, you have Daniel who goes back and... <laughs> I think I connect to the title in a very literal way, in a way because I'm making this big cyclops hat, and that's an obvious reference to Greek mythology, but I think it's almost in a tangential way because I'm not really interested in that history so much, but at the same time all the stuff that you're talking about in terms of narrative and how you present stories, all of what I'm really concerned with is this kind of act of looking, looking into the object and the object looking at you. And I think that connects a lot to what he's saying in terms of how people interpret things and how you construct reality.